Understanding the phrase, ready to pass out, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore a common English phrase, ready to pass out. This phrase can be a bit confusing, especially for English language learners, so we're here to break it down for you. Let's dive into its meaning, usage, and some examples to help you understand and use it confidently in your conversations. The phrase, ready to pass out, can have both a literal and a figurative meaning. Literal meaning, in its literal sense, to pass out, means to lose consciousness or faint. This can happen due to various reasons like exhaustion, dehydration, or medical conditions. Figurative meaning. Figuratively, the phrase is often used to express extreme tiredness or exhaustion. It doesn't necessarily mean that someone actually faints, but rather they feel so tired that they could potentially faint. Now, let's explore how to use ready to pass out in different contexts. Physical exhaustion. After a long day of work or intense physical activity, you might say, I'm so tired. I'm ready to pass out. Emotional exhaustion. It can also be used to describe emotional weariness. For example, after a day full of stressful events, one might say, this day has been so overwhelming. I'm just ready to pass out. Hyperbolic usage. Sometimes, people use it hyperbolically to add humor or exaggeration. Like, I laughed so hard. I was ready to pass out. When learning this phrase, be mindful of these common mistakes. Don't take it literally always. Context is key. If someone says they're ready to pass out after a movie, they're likely exaggerating their tiredness or emotional response, not actually about to faint. Appropriate usage. Be cautious about using it in serious situations. If someone is genuinely unwell, saying they're ready to pass out might cause unnecessary alarm. We hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, ready to pass out. Remember, context is essential in determining whether it's used literally or figuratively. Feel free to use this phrase in your conversations to express tiredness or exhaustion. Keep practicing, and you'll soon be using English phrases like a pro. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.